na ganon. Oh, simpad siya, di ba?
are in singing the entrance song. Yes, God, to bring light to the darkness, He has come to bring freedom to the captives, He has come to restore the broken hearted, it's time to proclaim the year of the Lord. Spirit, the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. Father, as we begin our Advent pilgrimage, we light a candle of hope. Grant us the courage to hope, hope for the presence, hope for your peace, hope for your promise. Amen. Let us pray. Rejoice, rejoice, Emmanuel shall come to thee, O Israel. Rejoice, rejoice, Emmanuel shall come to thee, O Israel. you come today, we would not know how to face you. When we continue to sin and too proud to accept our faults, come and deliver us, O Lord. We who claim to be yours are often the ones lacking in faith in your kingship over all things. Come, Lord, and open our eyes and strengthen our faith. Many times we do not see that you are working out the best for us because we are so immersed in our own desires. When we are blinded by the ways of the world and thus fail to see the leading of your spirit, come and restore our sight, O Lord. Restore our sight, O God, and make us see your son, Jesus Christ. Let his light shine on us that we may never be lost in the case of this world. Make us see him as he is, the glorious Savior, the King of kings, and Lord of lords. Amen. Amen. Brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. You were sent to heal the contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. You are seated at the white hand of the Father to intercede for us. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us of our sins, and bring us everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. Grant your faithful, we pray, Almighty God, the resolve to run forth to meet your Christ with righteous deeds at his coming, so that gathered at his right hand, they may be worthy to possess the heavenly kingdom. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. 
Amen. Please be seated. A reading from the book of the prophet Isaiah. You, Lord, are our Father, our Redeemer. You are named forever. Why do you let us wander, O Lord, from your ways and harden our hearts so that we fear you not? Return for the sake of your servants, the tribes of your heritage. Oh, that you would rent the heavens and come down with the mountains quaking before you. While you wrought awesome deeds we could not hope for, such as they had not heard of from of old. No ear has ever heard, no eye ever seen, any God, but you doing such deeds for those who wait for him. Would that you might meet us doing right, that we were mindful of you in our ways? Behold, you are angry and we are sinful. All of us have become like unclean people. All our good deeds are like polluted rags. We have all withered like leaves and our guilt carries us away like the wind. There is none who calls upon your name who rouses himself to cling to you. But for you have hidden your face from us and have delivered us up to our guilt. Yet, O oh Lord, you are our father. We are the clay, you the potter. We are all the work of your hands. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Lord, make us turn to you. Let us see your face and we shall be saved. Lord, make us turn to you. Let us see your face and we shall be saved. <clears throat> o shepherd of Israel, hearken from your throne upon the cherubim, shine forth. Rouse your power and come to save us. Lord, Make us turn to you. Let us see your face and we shall be saved. Once again, O Lord of hosts, look down from heaven and see. Take care of this vine and protect what your right hand has planted. The Son of Man whom you yourself made strong. Lord, make us turn to you and let us see your face and we shall be saved. May your help be with the man of your right hand, with the Son of Man whom you yourself made strong. Then we will no more withdraw from you. Give us new life and we will call upon your name. Lord, make us turn to you. Let us see your face and we shall be saved. A reading from the first letter of St. Paul to the Corinthians. Brothers and sisters, grace to you and peace from God our Father and the Lord Jesus Christ. I give thanks to my God always on your account for the grace of God bestowed on you in Christ Jesus. That in him you were enriched in every way with all discourse and all knowledge. As the testimony to Christ was confirmed among you, so that you are not lacking in any spiritual gift. As you wait for the revelation of our Lord Jesus Christ. He will keep you firm to the end, irreproachable on the day of our Lord Jesus Christ. God is faithful and by him you were called to fellowship with his Son, Jesus Christ, our Lord. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Please stand.
Show us, Lord, your love and grant us your salvation. With your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus said to his disciples, Be watchful, be alert. You do not know when the time will come. It is like a man traveling abroad. He leaves home and places his servants in charge, each with his own work, and orders the gatekeeper to be on the watch. Watch, therefore, you do not know when the Lord of the house is coming, whether in the evening or at midnight or cacro or at the morning. May he not come suddenly and find you sleeping. What I say to you, I say to all. Watch. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. Today, may the brothers and sisters who begin our liturgical year to live a liturgical life. This is our very new year. But how are we going to live this new liturgical year? How do we show our lives? How do we know that we really live a beautiful liturgical life? Well, our readings will answer us, and even our songs for Advent will answer us. Before the blessing of the candle and the prayers of the family, there is a beautiful song sung to us by our choir. And that is, O come, O come, Emmanuel. Why? Because... Israel is in captive mourning until the Son of God appears. What do we mean by that, my dear brothers and sisters? We know the history of Israel and even our very lives. We want the Lord to come. Oh, come, oh, come, Emmanuel. In ransom, captive Israel, which means Israel can do nothing. He is in captive. He needs to be ransomed. He can do nothing. He cannot save himself. He cannot even forgive all the offenses that he had done to cleanse himself. He needs the Lord to come and save him. Which means... That is the time to start a good liturgical year. The realization that you are in need of God. And because you are in need of God, there is the realization that you are in need of His mercy, in need of His forgiveness. Oh God, rent your heavens and come down. We have sinned. We have fallen. Oh, Father, according to the prayers of the first reading of today, as he said, you are the potter, we are the clay. We are in need to mold us, to shape us once again. Ano bang ginawa ng bayang Israel, mga kapatid? Feeling niya, kaya niya lahat, nawala ang Diyos. Kaya niyang iligtas ang kanyang sarili, nawala ang Diyos. Kaya niyang maglakbay sa kanyang gustong lugar na wala ang Diyos. Nagdidesisyon, wala ang Diyos. Pinatatatag niya ang kanyang bayan, pero wala ang Diyos. Meron siyang pamilya, pero wala ang Diyos. Until he was sent into exile. Defeated by the powerful Assyrian and Babylon. And they were all in exile. 
because of their sins. How should we start new life? It says, it's the first time that you realize that you are in need of God. Money, yes, we need. But God, we need the more. Ang pera nandyan lang. But what is money and richness without God? You will be materialistic. What is power without God? It will be corrupted. And you will become a great dictator. What is strength without God? You can also hurt other people or wound other people. Which means, to start our liturgical year, it's the beginning of a life that we realize that we need God and His forgiveness, His mercy, which means today is the start to say, I'm sorry. Forgive me, Lord. I need you. And the first reading asks us all this question. What are the sins in your life that you have to throw away, to stop, to leave behind? So that you can now face the Lord and sing this great, beautiful song, O come, O come, Emmanuel. And He will indeed come to save you and I. Ano yung mga kasalanan? Kailangan mo nang iwan, tanggalin, tuldokan na, itigil na para makapagsimula ng bagong buhay. Then we can say, that is a beautiful way to start a liturgical life. Second, my dear brothers and sisters, is our realization to watch. What are you going to watch? Netflix? <laughs> Disney? K-drama? What are you going to watch? Responsorial, some will say, Lord, make us turn to you. Let us see your face. And we shall be saved. To watch is to turn away from sin and face the Lord so that we can see the face of God. So that we can see our very way. So that we can see our very salvation. Otherwise, we will be lost. Ano nga bang tinitignan mo araw-araw? Pagising mo sa umaga. Anong unang mong inisip? Bago ka matulog. Ano? Huli mong inisip habang nabubuhay ka sa mundong ibabaw nito. Ano ang yung ginagawa? Ano yung sinasabi mo? Kanino ka pumupunta? San saan ka nagpupunta? We hope we can also watch by saying, Lord, make us turn to you. Let us see your face and we shall be saved. To see the face of God is to turn away from sin and see the face that is innocent and beautiful and pure and lovely. See the plan of the Lord. His face is so beautiful. And who can see the face of the Lord? The scripture also will answer us. Blessed are the pure of heart, for they shall, what? See God. Therefore, to cleanse our hearts and minds and our very lives is needed to see the face of the Lord. Blessed are the pure of heart, for they shall see God. Ano yung mga nagpaparumi sa ating isipan? Ano yung nagpaparumi sa ating paningin? Ano yung nagpaparumi sa ating mga puso? Ano yung mga dapat nating tanggalin na mga nakakarumi so that we can now see the face of God? And if we cannot see the face of God, my dear brothers and sisters, what will happen? We will also show an ugly face to other people. If the face of God is so beautiful and we see the Lord, our lives will also be beautiful. And if we don't see the face of God that is so beautiful and lovely, even our face will also be not beautiful. Araw-araw nakasimangot. Araw-araw galit. Araw-araw irita. Araw-araw nakasimangot na lamang at naninigaw. Araw-araw ang sama ng ugali. Araw-araw ang sama ng mga nasasabi. Araw-araw ang dumi ng isip. Why? Because you have not Turn to the Lord and not seen the face of the Lord. Kaya kapag nakita mo ng kagandahan, gumaganda ka din. Parang tayong lahat. Pag may nakita kang pogi, ang tanganda, sabi mo, 
Wow, ganda niya. Pati ikaw, nagiging cute. Di ba? How much more when you see the face of God, you will be made beautiful and lovely, full of joy and life-giving. You will also be joy-giving. Parang ang mga nagsisimba ngayon, ang kanilang mga mukha ay ang gaganda. Amen? Wala naman siguro dito ang sasabing, Father, ang pangit ko at nag -e enjoy ako dyan. No, we don't enjoy our ugly life and ugly face and ugly existence. We want a beautiful life and face and thinking and speaking and existence. This can only happen, my dear brothers and sisters, when we respond to the call of the Lord to watch. Let us turn to the Lord so that we can see the face of God. Now, my dear brothers and sisters, something beautiful is what Paul is saying to all of us so that we can also have hope in life, hope to start a new life, hope to begin a new way of thinking and speaking and living and relating. It is this, that we have the hope and joy that God is faithful and by Him, you were called to fellowship with His Son, Jesus Christ. Fellowship with Him. It means we belong to Him. Until the revelation of the Son of God, our fellowship with Him shows our belongingness. We don't belong to sin. That's why don't go to sin. You don't belong to hell. Don't go to hell. You don't belong to Satan. Don't face the face of Satan. You belong to God. You will enter heaven. See the face of the Lord. And you have to manifest the face of the Lord because God is faithful. You show that fidelity, letting other people know our fellowship in Him. Kapag nais mong may pakitang maganda mong buhay, ipakita mo din na kay galing sa Diyos, namumuhay para sa Diyos, at babalik ka din sa Diyos. Dahil nagmula ka sa Kanya at nararapat lamang ipakita mo ang Kanyang mukha. Kung dito nga lang, may mga ilan, no ID, no entry. Pati parking nga, no ID, no entry. Pahirapan pa. At kung hindi ka belong, you don't have your own space. May mga ganun, di ba? Pahirapan. But when it comes to God, the face that we will show is the face of the Lord. Because we are created according to the image and likeness of God. And the image of this invisible God is Jesus Himself. Which means our life and our face is no longer our own. Paul will say, for to me, to live means Christ. So that wherever I go, I will show not my face, not merely showing my words and my way of thinking, but the face of Christ. This is the way to watch, my dear brothers and sisters. Alam nila kung ano yung mga tinitignan mo kasi makikita na yan sa mukha mo. Alam nila kung ano nagiging buhay mo kasi alam nila kung ano yung inisip at pinanood mo. At yun ay mukha ng Panginoon. Alam nila kung saan ka patutungo dahil nakita nila kung paano ka namuhay at nagsalita. No wonder why we have to live the challenge and the command of the Lord to watch. What I say to you, I say to all. He said, watch. Anong ibig sabihin? Magbantay. Be alert. Ano yung babantayan mo? Sasabihin mo, eh, Father JB, binabantayan kung araw-araw ang aking asawa. Kung saan-saan siya tumitingin. Sinasabi ko, mm, mata, mata, mata. Ayan na naman. Saan ka naman tumitingin? Mm, Saan ka naman pupunta? Binabantayan ko. Oo, magandang magbantay ng ibang mga tao. Pero napakaganda ding bantayan mo ang iyong isip. Dahil ang iyong isip, galing sa Diyos yan. Ang iyong ulo at utak at kaisipan, galing sa Diyos, magbantay. Baka ang iyong kaisipan ay gagamitin niya ng masama. 
dila galing sa Diyos yan. Bantayan mo yan. Baka gamitin yan ng masama at magsasalita ng hindi karapat dapat sabihin. Bantayan ang sinasabi niya yung, yung dila. Bantayan ang yung puso. Galing sa Diyos yan. Baka kung saan saan mo gagamitin ang puso at mamahalin niya ang kasalanan na ang kasamaan. Bantayan. Bantayan mo ang yung buhay, ang yung pamilya, sagrado yan. Baka madesecrate lamang yan kung, ng kung sino-sino. Watch. Be alert. Be on guard. And once we know how to watch, we can also realize that we need God. His mercy. His forgiveness. We cannot save ourselves. We want to be saved by God. We want the Lord to come. And so we have to live a life that is faithful, that is on the Lord, so that we can live the ways of Jesus, of fidelity, who says, what I say to you, I say to all. Watch. This, my dear brothers and sisters, is how we begin our liturgical year, in our liturgical life, so that our life will always be on the Lord. Amen? May it happen. God bless us all. Let us now profess our faith. I believe in God. The Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, His only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into hell. On the third day, He rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven, and is seated at the right hand of God, the Father Almighty. From there, He will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and life everlasting. Amen. Christ the Lord asks us to be watchful and awake for His coming into our lives. In need of His grace, we pray to the Father. Father, graciously hear our prayer. Father, graciously hear our prayer. May the Pope the bishops, and the leaders of our Christian communities watch over the church and keep your people ever ready for your son's coming, we pray. Father, graciously hear our prayer. May civil leaders carry out their tasks with love and responsibility like faithful servants awaiting the master's return so that when he comes, they will receive the unfading crown of glory. We pray. Father, graciously hear our prayer. May the victims of violence, terrorism, and natural and man-made calamities receive comfort and hope through the care of the church and civil institutions. We pray. Father, graciously hear our prayer. May our family members relatives, and friends who have died experience everlasting joy in the company of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, we pray. Father, graciously hear our prayer. Let us pray for the urgent concerns of our community and our personal intentions. We pray. Father, graciously hear our prayer. Father, we eagerly wait for the coming of your Son. Strengthen us by the inspiration of the Spirit and make us watchful and prayerful. You who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated.
Brethren, and sacrifice in yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His holy church. Accept, we pray, Lord, these offerings we make, gathered from among your gifts to us. And may what you grant us to celebrate devoutly here below gain for us the prize of eternal redemption through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord of the Father, almighty and eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For he assumed at his first coming the lowliness of human flesh, and so fulfilled the design to form long ago, and opened for us the way to eternal salvation. That when he comes again in glory and majesty, and all is at last made manifest, we who watch for that day may inherit the great promise in which now we dare to hope. And so, with angels and archangels, with thrones and dominions, and with all the hosts and powers of heaven who sing the hymn of your glories without end, we acclaim. your right hand on your chest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the font of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts we pray by sending down your spirit upon them like the dew fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks broke it and gave it to his disciples saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more, giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The Mystery of Faith. is bread and drink this cup we proclaim your death O Lord until you come again therefore as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection we offer you Lord the bread of life and the chalice of salvation giving thanks that you've held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, 
we may be gathered into one with the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity. Together with Francis our Pope and Jesse our Bishop and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, with that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages. We may merit to be co-heirs eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through Him and with Him and in Him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, O glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Savior's command and forms of a divine teaching we dare to say. First, Lord, we pray from every evil, graciously grant peace in our days, that with the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church. And graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with their will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Peace with you. Peace be with you. Take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us, Lamb of God. You take away the sins of the world.
Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. For an orderly receiving of Holy Communion by Rose, please allow our ushers to guide you. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen.
Please stand. Let us pray. May these mysteries, O Lord, in which we have participated, profit us, we pray, for even now, as we walk amid passing things, you teach us by them to love the things of heaven and hold fast to what endures through Christ, our Lord. Amen. Kids ages 5 to 12 years old are invited to join the awesome kids' ministry at Alabang Room, simultaneously held with the feast session. Parents may approach Awesome Kids Ministry servants at the foyer. Thank you. And on behalf of the entire Feast Bellevue AM family, we would like to thank our Mass Presider, Reverend Father J.V. Acosta, for celebrating the Holy Eucharist with us. Hindi ko na kayo makakasama sa Christmas, kaya babatiin ko na kayo in advance. Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. Alapakan natin ang Panginoon. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Bow down for the blessing. May the almighty and merciful God, by whose grace you have placed your faith in the first coming of His only begotten Son, and yearn for His coming again, sanctify you by the radiance of Christ's advent, and enrich you with His blessing. Amen. As you run the race of this present life, may He make you firm in faith, joyful in hope, and active in charity. Amen. So that rejoicing now with devotion, the Redeemer's coming in the flesh, you may be endowed with the rich reward of eternal life when He comes again in majesty. Amen. And may the blessing of Almighty God, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit come down on you and remain with you forever. Amen. The mass has been offered. Go in peace, glorifying the Lord by your life. Thanks, Thanks be, be to God. God. He has come to bring light into the darkness. He has come to bring freedom to the captives. He has come to restore the broken heart and it's time to proclaim the year of the Lord. Prepare the way, prepare the way, prepare the way for our Redeemer. Prepare the way. Welcome to our first Sunday here at the Feast. Nako, I'm super, super excited because today's talk is about plenty. Woohoo! Pakita nga natin yan. It's about plenty. And I'm sure all of you will be blessed 
in today's talk. So we just finished our mass and nako, may I greet everyone? Can you please type, type, type and say good morning, good morning, good morning, good morning. And uh, well, I have just two announcements no, to all of you. Ah, wait, and also before you say that, you all, we also um, would like to know if you're a first timer. Because this is Peace at Home. Oh, this is like every Sunday that we do. And we are part of the Light of Jesus family. Yay, Rob! Oh, go, go, go. More pa, more pa. But uh, as you continue, hey, Pam, good morning. Let us know also where you're watching from. Hi, Mia. Go, go, go. Mira mo yung birthday sa inyo. Oh, wow. I love that blessed Sunday. Oh, hi, Dong or Dina. Hello. Oh, first timer. Hey, Dong, where are you from? Arceline, hello, good morning, please welcome. Oh, from Bay Laguna. Wow, kapatid, kapatid yan. Hey, aside from letting us know where you're watching us from, nako, maybe you want to share this link so we can uh, bless other people. Hi, oh, Andy Bono. First time we're from La Union. Hi, hi, she's Chris. Nako, sana you will be blessed. All right, so what, what is in store no, for our program? Today, we will talk about plenty to be led by Brother Arun Gogna. And may I just share with you, anong nangyari sa atin? So we have the HIP, you know, the Hero Independent Program Ministry. They did something, you know, today, um, last November 27, and they were able to bless oh, a lot of people. They had their outreach last November, and uh, yeah, so... Um, this is like a really a good program and we were able to bless 1,254 ata na PWS Senior Citizens. So, yay, yeah, yay, yeah, yay. Yeah. And what else do we have? Feeding program. Do we have feeding program? Yan! They started last November and it will run until next year. So, please, please, please join us. We need the people who will teach, who will bring, and who will offer. Ayan. Siguro, let's show pa. Let's show pa the poster. Ayan. So, you will teach. Ayan, nakikita nyo po things that you can do. You can bring. You can bring and then you can offer also. Ayan. Ayan, ayan. Contact si Des Ventura. Ayan. Ayan, ayan, ayan. So, join us, ha? join us until May 11, 2024. Ayan. Sige, you can teach, you can bring and you can offer. Ayan. Good! So, ayan, nakikita nyo yung background na when no, ako, dear online attendees, we're happy that you're attending, pero sige na, join us here in Peace Bellevue, ayan, so that you can and, um, um, join the singing, the praising. Hey, Michelle! Oh, harigato! Uh, harigato gusaymas! <laughs> from Japan! Hey, Jamie! Watching from Cebu with my daughter! Oh, oh Christmas baby! So, advance happy birthday! Happy Sunday to everyone from Batanga City. Hello, eh. Good morning. Ayan. Ay, so magsa-start na session. Hi, Dominique. So I want you to grab your pen, grab your Bible, and grab your water as well as we enjoy today's talk. All right? So...
and sisters, gift giving, di ba? Is one of the things that we look forward to during this season. Amen? So, merong isang taong magbe-birthday this coming is December 25. And when we buy gifts for this person, di ba, pag meron kayong mahal sa buhay, gusto nyo yung, syempre, bibigyan natin regalo yung gusto niya. Di ba? Yung gustong gusto niya. Kaya lang, itong tao na to, eh, ganun din ka-generous. Kasi nasa kanya na lahat. Eh, hindi natin alam kung ano yung pwede natin ibigay sa kanya. And habang nag-iisip kayo, allow me to share a bit. Last weekend, my whole family attended the feast conference. No? Woo! <laughs> Hallelujah! Alam nyo ba, mga kapatid? Pagpasok pa lang naming mag-anak doon sa registration, grabe, na-overwhelm na kami. Yung conference kit, napakabigat. Ang daming laman. Grabe, sobrang dami ng goodies talaga. Tonto ay mga anak ko, no? Um, and then, when we attended the master classes, ang daming learnings sa mga... Dati noon, kami lang ni Vika nag ng ganyan. Ngayon, tatlo na. May tatlo na kaming kasama. Including, ayan, si Toby, no? Naiintindihan na niya kung ano yung mga kailangan niyang matutunan. Sobrang generous. And allow me to 
um, take this opportunity to thank the feast builders, the organizers. Salamat po. Sobrang worthwhile nung aming uh, weekends. At dahil sobrang tuwa ng asawa ko, ni-register niya na kami for next year. Alain niya yan. ba diba ganun ka-generous si Lord? Kasi sobrang hindi natin siya talaga kayang pantayan. No? And speaking of generosity, few years back, um, kami ni Vic, no, ni husband, we were granted a 10-year multiple entry US visa. No? <laughs> Praise the Lord yan. Akala namin, pangarap lang yon, Akala namin, imposible yon. But, hindi lang yon, no? In 22 days, in 22 days, ha, we were able to visit San Francisco, Sacramento, Orlando, Florida, Houston, Philadelphia, and Los Angeles. All expenses paid. No, wala kaming ginasos ni Vic doon, pati pagkain, accommodation. Ganun ka-generous si Lord. Nang akala naming posible, ay imposible, posible kay Lord. In Luke 1.37, it says, For nothing is impossible with God. Amen? Sa lahat sa atin dito na nagpipray, na akala natin napaka-imposible, wait, but there's more. No? There's more of the Lord. The generosity of the Lord is really overwhelming, overflowing, and it's all enough for everyone. Hallelujah! So ngayon, I'm encouraging you, I'm inviting you to when you praise, when you want to raise your hands, stretch it up, up on high. Huwag ko kayong mahihiya. When you want to sing, sing with us. No? And when you'd want to dance, sayo din po kayo, mga kapatid. When we worship our God, it unlocks no, the throne of heaven at bubuhos ang biyayang hindi natin aakalain mapupunta sa atin. In Jesus' name, Amen. As we say, in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. Father God, we thank you for being so generous, O oh God. Even if we are all unworthy, Lord, you still give us what we need. You still answer our prayers. You still heal our wounds. You always make us whole once again, O oh God. And at this time, Lord, we just want to lift up to you all our praises, O oh God. We want to say thank you and be grateful for everything that you have done for us, O oh Lord God. In a few weeks, Lord, you'll be celebrating your birthday. And we want to offer to you our praises and worship. We want to offer to you our lives. We want to offer to you our whole being, O oh God. Accept it, O oh Jesus. Please accept it as a living sacrifice to your throne. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. In the beginning was the Word. You spoke the world to be. And there is nothing that could come to life without you. For you are life and the light. And all will come to.
Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Together today, I all of God's love for me. Today, I open myself to the unbounded, limitless, overflowing abundance of God's universe. Today, I open myself to God's blessings, healing, and miracles. Today, I open myself to God's Word. So I become more like Jesus every day. Today, I proclaim that I am God's beloved. I am God's servant. I am God's powerful champion. And because I am blessed, I am blessing the world. In Jesus' name, amen. Thy word is a lamp unto my feet and a light unto my path. 
Welcome everybody to our brand new series that will guide us this coming Christmas. The title is Plenty. Sabi nyo nga, Plenty. Plenty. May subtitle yan. How to live in God's radical generosity. May tanong ako sa inyo, do you believe God is generous? Yes. That belief will dictate how you will live your life. Pag ang tingin nyo, ang Diyos ay kuripot, nako tingnan nyo ang buhay nyo. Palagi kayo nagbibilang. Palagi kayo naninimbang. Pero kung naniniwala kayo na ang Diyos ay mapagbigay, tingnan nyo, ibang-iba ang lakad mo sa buhay. That is the whole prayer of this series that you will believe in the radical generosity of God to you. Our one big message for this talk, ito, ito, itong talk na ito, ha? Ay, ito. Tingnan nyo, yung screen. Sige. What is the one big message? Go. Your father knows what you need. Alam na alam niya ang kailangan mo. So trust in Him that He will deliver, that He will bless you. Put your hands upon your heart, close your eyes, bow down your head. Lord, thank You for Your generosity. And we are here today to remind ourselves of that truth, that You're a giver, that You only give what is best. Kung meron kang hindi ibinibigay, kasi alam mo, hindi ito pinakamainam sa amin. And so, Lord, open our hearts, open our minds, speak to us, touch us, embrace us with your love. And we believe we are going to bring home your miracles today. In your name, in Jesus' name, amen. Thy word is a lamp unto my feet and a light unto my path. Give the Lord a big hand. Bless His name. Thank you, Jesus. As you sit down, sabi niyo sa katabi niyo, God is generous. May papakita ako sa inyong isang picture. Tingnan niyo yan. Anong nakikita niyo? Pag nakita niyo to, anong iniisip niyo? Sigaw niyo lang, huwag kayo mahiya. Di ba? Ubus na. Sayang. Ang konti. Di ba pag nakita niyo yun, ang konti. Ubus na. If we look at life like that, na ang konti, you know our tendency will be this, we will be very, very selfish. Talagang... Ay, ang konti eh. Nakakain na ba kayo ng buffet? Taas nga ang kamay ng mga nakakain ng buffet. Sa mga wedding. Di ba, yung nihintay mo, anong number tayo? Number five tayo eh. Baka unahin yung number one. Tapos ang inuna yung number 23. Pababang ganun. Tapos pipicture sila sa may kasal. Tapos sila yung kakain. Di ba? Parang... Kinakabahan ka na ba? Parang baka maubusan ako. Kaya yung iba, unang-una eh. Lalo na pag may litsyon. Pag may litsyon ako, ako yung pinakamasaya pag may litsyon na handa. Bakit ako ang pre-chef? Ako ang nauuna. Pinapauna ako eh. Brother, kayo mauna. O sige. Sabi ko, sigurado kayo, ako una. Kayo po, kayo ang guest of honor talaga. Kawawang baboy ito. Mababalatan, gano'n. Tapos makikita mo yung mga mukha ng iba. Pag may kumukuha na ng iba, talaga. Kaya kami, meron kaming ginagawa. Pag buffet ang kainan. Pag nakapila, pinapauna namin ng mga babae. Ganun talaga. Ladies first. Tapos kami mga nasa likod, pag nakita namin, na grabe makakuha yung mga nasa harapan, kinakantahan namin yan. May bukas pa sa iyong buhay. Ayan, binabalik na nila. No? Kasi may bukas pa eh, di ba? 
Pag ganito ang tingin natin sa buhay, ang konte napakaswapang natin. If we see a world of scarcity, it is easy to be selfish. Kaya lang, nakakalungkot, scarcity is actually entrenched in our thinking. Oh, sa mga nag-aral ng economics, naalala niyo ang definition ng economics? Oh, tingnan niyo. Economics, the study of allocating scarce resources for man's unlimited wants. Definition pa lang sa school, sinasabi na sa ating kagad, ang konte. But Jesus, sabi nyo nga, but Jesus. Ay, mahalaga yung but Jesus. Sabi nyo, but Jesus. Kaya lang si Jesus. But Jesus saw God's creation in a totally different way. Ulitin ko, pakita natin ulit yung plato. Kung ganito ang tingin natin sa mundo at sa buhay, palaging kulang, palaging nauubusan, ay, ganyan ang buhay natin. Jesus looked at the universe and He saw this. Tingnan niya. Dami. Ang tingin natin isang plato, naubos pa. Si, si Lord, <laughs> dami niyan. Napakadami. Jesus saw a universe of abundance. Kaya ito yung reading natin in today's talk. Famous reading in Luke. That is why I tell you, says Jesus, not to worry about everyday life, whether you have enough food to eat or enough clothes to wear, for life is more than food and your body more than clothing. Look at the ravens. They don't plant or harvest or store food in barns, for God feeds them. And you are far more valuable to Him than any birds. Tingnan nyo nga yung katabi nyo. Tingnan nyo lang. Iyan ba ay ibon o tao? Anong paniki? <laughs> ano sabi ni Lord? Mas mahalaga ka kaysa ibon. Kaya ang sabi niya, can all your worries add a single moment to your life? And if worry cannot accomplish little thing like that, what's the use of worrying over big things? Ano, ano, anong, anong sense nito? ba? Kaya, mas mahalaga ka pa kaysa ibon. Tapikin nyo nga yung dalawa nyong katabi. Sabihin nyo, mas mahalaga ka kaysa ibon. Go, mas mahalaga ka kaysa ibon. Mas mahalaga ka. O meron akong gagawin, ha? Sagutin nyo po ng malakas. Okay? Pwede? Pwede? Malakas ang sagot, ha? May dalawang ibon. Si Giripit at si Giripat. Lumipad si Giripit. Sinong natira? O, ulitin ko. May dalawang ibon. Si Giripit at si Giripat. Lumipad si Giripat. Sinong natira? Oh, sige, ulitin ko. May dalawang ibon. Si Giripit at si Giripat. Lumipad si Giripat. Sinong natira? Oh, ulitin ko. Ulitin ko lang, hindi alam ng mga anak ko ito eh. May dalawang ibon. Si Giripit at si Giripat. Lumipad si Giripat. Sinong natira? Sino? Si Giripit. Oh, ulitin ko. <laughs> Tingnan niyo yung katabi niyo kung alam niya yon. <laughs> ulitin ko. May dalawang ibon. Si Giripit at si Giripat. Lumipad si Giripat. Sinong natira? Oh, si Giripit. Si Giripit. Oh, so, may dalawang i- Got it? Sige, repeat. So I've been repeating it over and over. Mga kapatid, kailangan ulit-ulitin sa atin ang katotohanan ito. Mas mahalaga ka kaysa ibon. 
mas mahalaga ka kaysa ibon. Mamaya paglabas nyo rito, pag may nakita kayong ibon lumilipad, let that tell you something. Sige, ripat yun. Ganun. <laughs> ha? Para maalala mo na ha? yung ibon nga. Hindi naman nagtatrabaho yan. Pero hindi pinapabayaan ng Diyos. Mas mahalaga ka pa dyan. You know, Jesus was a bird watcher. Bird watcher. Kala mo, si Jesus pang naglalakad, tinitingnan lang niya tao. Ay, nako si Lord, tinitingin bigla yan sa ganyan. Ako po, nung ako'y bata-bata, meron kaming alagang mga kalapati. Sino sa inyo may mga alagang kalapati? Nag-alaga. Ay, tayo lang. Ang konti natin. Sige, pwede naman. 94 kalapati ang meron ako. Umakit ako sa bubong ng bahay namin. Tapos pinapalipad ko yan. Grabe yan lumipad. Talagang ganun. Gustong gusto namin ng ibon. Nako, hindi lang kami merong ibong kalapate. Ang tatay ko kasi, napakahilig mag-alaga ng kung ano-ano. Meron ho kaming. Are you ready? Are you ready to what I'm going to tell you? Ha? Meron kaming pabo. Ano yung pabo in, taga, in English? Turkey. Wow. Sosyal. Meron kaming pato. Meron kaming peacock. Pag mayaman, ganun. Hindi ba kayo mayaman? Imagine mo, pag gising ko ng umaga bago pumasok sa school, gaganon yung peacock. Tapos kayo, pinupuntaan nyo sa Manila Zoo. Kami araw-araw, gaganon yung pika. Naglalakad-lakad doon. Ay, meron pa kaming iba. Ibon. Parot. Na nagsasalita. Waray. Piriko, pikoy. Ganun. Kasi waray kami. Tinuruan sa, sa takloban. Tinuruan. Pagdating dito sa amin, dito nakatsakay sa akin, dito. Ibon. Pinaliligiran kami ng Ibon. The Lord is a bird watcher. And when he looked at birds, he saw something magical. What is that? He saw divine extravagance baked into the DNA of the universe. He saw the Father's radical generosity in every fiber of creation. Walang trabaho ang ibon. Di nagluluto. Meron ba kayong nakitang ibon na nagtatrabaho? Narinig nyo na ba sila? Nag-usap si Gripit, si Gripat? Pasok muna ako sa work. Yeah, sure. <laughs> Night shift ako eh. Ganun. Wala. But God feeds them. Si Jesus hindi lang tumitingin sa ibon, sa mga flowers din. Oh, ito. Anong sabi niya? Look at the lilies and how they grow. They don't work or make their clothing. Yet Solomon, in all his glory, was not dressed as beautifully as they are. Yung hari, yung pinaka makapangyariang hari, napakaganda ng suot, di lalabas yan ng hindi maganda. Hindi pa rin maganda yan kumpira sa mga bulaklak. Why do you have so little faith? Tapos anong sabi sa sa word? Mamamatay yan bukas. Pero tingnan mo, kahit mamamatay yan, dinadamitan ko pa rin ang maganda. Grabe, no? Grabe. Kaya tayo mga tao, ginagaya natin bulaklak. Tingnan nyo sa mga competition. Ito ang mga nangyayari. O, yan ang mga gown. Ha? Katawa, no? O, meron pang isa. Ito pa. O. Gaya ang bulaklak. Ay, ngayon, ito ang uso. Yan. No? Gagayahin natin. Bakit? Ginawa ng Diyos. Pero itong tanong ko, ito na. Where did Jesus get this crazy idea of a universe of abundance ruled by a generous God? Saan niya nakuha yan? Eh, ang nakikita niya kahirapan. Nung nabuhay siya, ang Hudyo ay under the Roman rule. Ang dami-dami hong mahirap. Kitang-kita niya yan. Lumaki siya nang nakikita niya talaga logically, practically speaking, reality, ang hirap ng mga tao. Noong panahon niya, napakadaming mahirap. 
Jesus saw all that. Yet, he still saw a universe of abundance. Pero itong tanong, where this did, where this, where did his illogical paradigm come from? Saan ba galing ito? Ang sagot ay sa Old Testament. Jesus was steep in scriptures. Nakita niya sa banal na salita ng Diyos. O, trivia ng konti. Alam niyo ba, 95% ng mga tao nung panahon ni Jesus, 95% hindi marunong magbasa at magsulat. So, pero dahil hindi marunong magbasa, hindi marunong magsulat, itong liability became an advantage. Why? Itong mga religious Jews, they memorized the Bible. At dahil memorize nila ito, they pass this on to the next generation by reciting passages by heart. So where did Jesus get this illogical paradigm of abundance from the Bible? Eh, hindi naman siya marun magbasa. Alam niyo kung saan niyo nakuha? Kay Mama Mary at kay St. Joseph. Ang tatay at nanay niya. Umaga pa lang, kumakanta na si Mama Mary habang naglalaba, habang nagluluto. Anong kanta nila? Kanta ni Lady Gaga? Kanta sa Biblia. Kaya si Jesus, kahit nakikita niya yung kahirapan, naririnig niya ito sa kanyang magulang. Anong sabi? Ito yung isa sa mga kinakanta ni Mama Mary at ni Joseph. Itong psalm na ito. Tingnan niyo. Let all that I am praise the Lord. You make springs pour water into the ravines, so streams gush down from the mountains. They provide water for all the animals. The birds nest beside the streams and sing among the branches of the trees. You send rain on the mountains from your heavenly home, and you fill the earth with the fruit of your labor. You cause grass to grow for the livestock and plants for people to use. They all depend on you to give them food as they need it. When you supply it, they gather it. You open your hand to feed them, and they are richly satisfied. Jesus saw the world bursting with blessing. Kitang kita niya. Every facet of creation, he saw his fathers giving the gift of abundance to us. Kitang-kita niya ito. Kahit may mga may hirap, kita niya, mapagbigay ang Diyos. Mahirap din sila, ha? Hindi naman sila sobrang mayaman, sila Jesus at si Mama Mary. Pero kita niya na ano, God provides. Why? Because of the parents. Who are parents here? Can you see the hands of parents? Parents, please listen to me. Our words will shape the destiny of our children. Yung mga sinasabi natin. Pag hawak mo ang pera, anong sinasabi mo? Wala na namang pera. Pero nagbibilang ka. Alam mo yung mga bata, titingin, wala nga pera. So sila, scarcity rin. Hindi ko sinabi maging garbo kayo, ha? yung ubusin niyo lahat. Pero yung, our words will shape them. Ito po ang aking suggestion sa inyo. Parents, be Cheer leaders of your children. Sabi nyo nga, cheer leaders. Alam nyo yung cheer leaders? Hindi lang cheerer, cheer leaders. Yung nasa harapan, yung nagpapaano ng mga tao. Come on! Woo! Kaya nyo yan! Pag kayo ay lumalaban ng basketball o volleyball o football, tapos may mga cheer leaders kayo, kahit talo kayo, sinicheer pa rin kayo. Woo! Tambak tayo! Yes! Di ba? Yun ang cheerleaders. Be cheerleaders. Kasi, your words will shape the destiny of our children. So let me give you two practical effects of the abundance paradigm. If you believe that you live in an abundant universe ruled by a radically generous God, Jesus said two beautiful things will happen. Number one, we stop worrying. Sabi mo nga yan sa katabi mo, we stop worrying. Yan ang una. 
The Word of God says, and don't be concerned about what to eat, what to drink. Don't worry about such things. These things dominate the thoughts of unbelievers all over the world. But your Father already knows all your needs. Your Father already knows. So seek the kingdom of God above all else, and He will give you everything you need. You know, there is a statement that is very true. You see what you want to see. Nakikita mo kung ano gusto mong hanapin. Kaya, ewan ko, tayo, we live in this real world. Kitang-kita mo naman, marami mahirap. Nung nagpunta ako sa province ko, sa San Francisco, nasa San Francisco ako noon, naglalakad ako doon sa ano, sa Cali. Ang dami yung homeless. Hindi lang nila pinapayagan itong mga homeless pumunta doon sa wharf kung saan yung maraming turista talaga. Pero nandun ako sa homeless. Actually, kami ni Bo, naglalakad. kami dalawa. Lakad kami sa San Francisco. Araw-araw, doon sa street. Nakabak pa kami ganyan. Lakad-lakad. Tapos inutusan ako ng asawa ko. Wala sila eh. Kaming dalawa lang ni Bo. Sabi ni Lale, Love, bili ka naman ng maleta. Para meron tayong bagong maleta. Mura dyan. Okay, bili ako. So, nakabak pa kami. Tapos, hila-hila ko yung maleta. Tapos, tinignan ko yung mga homeless. Aba, pare-pareho kami. Ganun ang homeless nila. Nakabak pa at may hila-hilang maleta. So, ako may hila-hilang maleta. Para kami talaga homeless. Tapos, nung nakakain kami, may nakita akong homeless. Kawawa. Yung, yung kaya lang, Maano ka rin eh, yung mga homeless sa Amerika, English speaking. <laughs> diba? Para, para mas mayamang pa sa akin to. <laughs> yung isa, nakaano eh, North Face. Ay ko ba, wow, social and jacket, no? Dr. Martins yung sapatos. <laughs> mayamang pa sa amin to. Tapos meron isa, nakaupo doon na homeless, naawa ako. Eh, eh, kumakain kami ng Krispy Kreme. Inalok ko. I go, sir, you wanna eat? Alam mo, sagot sa akin, oh, I don't eat sugar. <laughs> I don't eat sugar. Gusto kong, bahala ka sa buhay mo, sarap dito. Diba? <laughs> Social. If you believe that you live in a scarce universe ruled by a stingy God, you will experience shortage materially, emotionally, spiritually. Pag ang tingin mo, kuripot ang Diyos, yan ang buhay mo. And you know what happens? And then you worry. You will worry every moment of every day. You will be ruled by your fears. And small troubles, malilit lang, will make you anxious. But, sabi nyo nga, but, if you believe that you live in a world overflowing with divine extravagance, you will relax, you will trust, and you will surrender. If your heart is gripped by fear today, let me preach to you again. Your heavenly Father knows what you need. Your heavenly Father knows what you need. Believe that you're surrounded by abundance, ruled by a generous God. God is a giver. Hindi ho kuripot ang Diyos. Tayo ang kuripot. Tayo. Pag tayo nagbisisimba, hindi dito sa mga parokya, tayo ang kuripot. Pagdating yung love offering, tingnan nyo ako ha, yung basket, doon ka nakatingin. Pagdating doon, lumalampas ang tingin. No? Minsan palapit na yung basket, saka ka taimtim nagdadasan. Binabangga ka na, ay mong pansinin. Paglampas, thank you Lord. Tayo ang kuripot, hindi ang Diyos. Jesus saw a world where there will always be enough for everyone. Enough for everyone, but one condition. Itong one condition. Jesus has one condition. We need to trust in God's goodness and love our neighbor. Trust God's goodness and love our neighbor. Iisa lang ho yan, hindi pwedeng hatiin. Hindi dalawa, isa yan. 
trust God's goodness as we love our neighbors. And because of that, we go to the second practical effect of this abundance paradigm. We stop fighting over stuff. The Word of God says, So don't be afraid, little flock, for it gives your Father great happiness to give you the kingdom. Sell your possessions and give to those in need. This will store up treasure for you in heaven. And the purses of heaven never get old or develop holes. Your treasure will be safe. No thief can steal it and no moth can destroy it. Wherever your treasure is, there the desires of your heart will also be. Gusto kong balikan nyo nung kayo nag-aaral sa school. Nung nag-aaral kayo sa school, tapos sabi nung teacher nyo, okay, bring out one sheet of paper. Ito ang tanong ko sa inyo. Namigay ba kayo? Sa mga kaklase nyo, mga walang dala palagi. Diba? Tatayo yung mga classmate mo. Pengi. Sino mga namigay? Huwag kayo mahiya. Mga namigay. Ayan. Sino mga ayaw mamigay? Huwag kayo mahiya. You are home. Ayan. Sino yung nanghingi? <laughs> Lahat kayo nanghingi. E, Di ba? Ako, nahihingian ako. Nalapit sa aking mga kaklase ko nung elementary. Pengi. So ako naman, bigay. Pero yung mukha ko, kitang-kita mo. Yung talaga ang sama ng mukha mo, kasi hindi kayo nagdadala. Alam nyo naman na palaging meron. Kasama yan dun sa requirement. Ayaw magbigay, gano'n. Ayaw magdala. Tapos, one time, I realized, talagang wala, mga tamad do. Nung sinabi ng teacher, bring out one piece of paper. Talagang ako, bingi-bingihan eh. Oh, gano'n, gano'n ako. Hindi ko nilalabas talaga. No? Tapos, hindi sila makalapit kasi wala akong nilabas. Tinatago ko. Tinatago ko. Parang ayoko na mamigay. Inaabuso ako eh. Alam nyo, pag uwi ko ng bahay, si mama, nanay ko, galing di Bisoria. Sabi niya, anak, oh, binili kita ng maraming maraming paper. Ay nako, mataas pa sa akin. Sa dami. Eh maliit pa ako noon. Ang taas. Ang dami kong paper. Ito na. The next day, sabi ko, ma'am, mag-exam ho tayo. Mamibigay ako ng papel. Ha? Ganun, umabot sa ganun. Bakit? Tami, in order to share more, you must see more. Again, your father knows what you need. So he tells you, stop worrying. Stop fighting. Start trusting. Amen? Tapikin mo yung nasa kaliwa mo, sabi mo sa kanya, stop worrying. Tapikin mo yung nasa kanan mo, sabi mo, stop fighting. Tapikin mo yung nasa harap mo, sabi mo, start trusting. Tapikin mo yung nasa likod mo, sabi mo, your father knows what you need. Tapikin mo yung upo ang walang laman. At sabi mo, iimbitahan kita. That is what God is telling you. Stop fighting. Huwag niyo na pag-awayan yan. Masyado mag-alala. Narating. Kapagbigay ang Diyos. Amen? Let's all stand, brothers and sisters. Let me share with you the generosity of God in our lives. We just celebrated our 25th wedding anniversary. Kami ni Lelaine. Thank you. Tapos, siyempre, gusto mong i-celebrate. So, nagplano-plano. Hanap-hanap kami sa Tagaytay. Meron kami nakita malaking venue. Hindi naman namin kailangan imbitahan lahat ng kaibigan namin sa mundo. Ang mahal ng venue, hindi namin kaya yan. Hanap kami, ganyan. Biglang may nakita kami, venue, na gustong-gusto namin. Talaga, we were praying, Lord, dali mo kami dyan, kung saan man. Hanap-hanap, 
na sakita namin. Overlooking Taal Volcano. Eh, yun ang aking me time eh. Pag inahatid ko si Lelaine sa clinic niya sa Santa Rosa, I go straight to Tagaytay. Tapos may mga lugar ako doon na naka, doon ako nakatingin sa vulkan. So, nakuha namin yung lugar. Saya namin. Tapos the next step, let us get the one who will help us do the organizing of everything. And the Lord provided us with Shane Ganalon. Grabe, talagang kasama natin yan sa feast. No? Inayos niya lahat. So kami, relax, relax. Tapos, siyempre, kailangan mo ng pera. Nako, ang dami kong labada. No? Para magkapera, laban ang laba. Ganyan, no? So, eh, meron. The Lord provided. And then we need some videos for our show. And the streams video team said, we will do this. So may mga pre photos videos kami. Yung talagang the Lord has been providing and coming. And, Nako, ito na. Malapit na yung wedding. May nakita ako na weather update. At ang weather update ay ang projection nung bagyong ito na namumuo, sabi nga niyan, ito po'y namumuo sa mga ganyan, di ba? Sa labas ng PAR, Philippine Area of Responsibility, may namumuong LPA. At pag ito'y namuo at ito'y tatama sa Pilipinas, exact day ng wedding. So anong ginawa namin? Dasal, Lord, napakasarap naman mag-wedding. Tagaytay, walang ulan. Kita mo yung vulkan, kita mo yung view. The next day, may namumuong LPA sa labas ng par. Third day, namumuong LPA sa labas ng par. Aba, hindi pa pumapasok. Namumuo pa lang. On the fourth day, nawala ang LPA. <laughs> nawala ang LPA. Kaya nung day of our wedding, ganda-ganda ho ng view. Yun ang gusto namin makita ng mga tao yung view. Tapos, nung mag-uumpisa na, nag-sunset. Ang sunset nandito. Hindi mo makikita, pero tumama yung ilaw dito. At alam nyo, ang kulay ng langit, may mga pira-pirasong kulay ng langit, kulay purple. Ano ang aming motif? Purple. Nagpapakitang gilas ang Diyos sa iyo. He is a generous God. Huwag niyo kakalimutan yon. Yun ang babalikan mo pag feeling mo kulang na naman. Pag feeling mo parang kuripot ang Diyos, balikan mo yung mga ganun para makita mo na ano. He is really a radical, generous God. He knows what you need. And He only gives Go back to that. Embrace that. We're just talk number one. This is building up to something. But this is the first, very, very important, for you to believe He is generous. Put your hands up on your heart. Close your eyes. Bow down your head. Lord, may we believe that You are generous. That, that You know our greatest need. And Lord, today, it is not money, it is not something else. Our greatest need is Jesus. Lord, you are the epitome of abundance. And you are given to us already by the Father. Thank you, Lord, for this great truth. We ask that we will remember this. Maalala namin ito. Pagkulang na ang lahat sa mundong ito. Pag feeling namin, di kayo nagbibigay. May we remember that our you are God's abundance in our lives. Brothers and sisters, and how will it happen? Trust in God's goodness. Trust in His goodness. He is good to you. And so surrender all your worries to Him. 
help is on the way. His abundance, His provision is coming. It is coming. Thank you, Jesus. Receive it now, my dear friend. Receive it. His abundance is here. Worship Him now as you receive. As you receive God's generosity, worship Him. And as you come with clouds, every eye will see your kingdom coming in the fullness of your glory. With all the angels and all generations lift your name, sing in an endless hymn of holy, holy, holy. Singing an endless hymn of holy, holy, holy. Sing. Holy is your name. Holy is your name. So meron po bang nandito sa unang pagkakataon yung mga first timers po natin? Ayan, so please the Lord. May we invite you to stand up para po ma-pray over po namin kayo. Ayan. So tayo po yung mga nandito po sa unang pagkakataon. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Palakpakan naman natin si Lord. Ayan. Thank you, Jesus. So we will pray over you. Name the Father, Son, the Holy Spirit. Amen. Let's all extend our hands towards our uh, new attendees. Father God, we thank you for bringing these people, O oh Lord God, into this place, O oh Lord. We pray, Lord, that you may continuously arrange their schedules and may they be able to come here every Sunday, O oh Lord God, and listen to your word. We pray also, Lord, that you may grant all their hearts desires, O oh Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. Name the Father, Son, the Holy Spirit. Amen. Mamaya po pagbabay ninyo, meron po mga servant na sasalubo po sa inyo. At meron po kaming um, maliit na regalo para po sa inyo. Amen? Praise the Lord. So for more announcements, ayan, may I call on Sister Buddy. Where are you? Sister Buddy. Yay! Walang pa natin si Lord or Sister Buddy. <laughs> Woohoo! All right, nako. Ang ganda ng message today. Can you tell the person beside you, trust in God's abundance. Go. All right. Oh, woohoo. So as we trust God's abundance, nako December na. Sino po dito na to celebrate ng birthday nila and anniversary? Pakita asang kamay. Woohoo, go. Can we ask you to stand up? Okay lang po ba? And uh, we will... We will pray for you. Yes, we'll and uh, for we you. will pray for you. Okay. And okay lang, okay lang. Ayan. All right. 
trust in God's abundance. Amen. And we also trust that you will share the abundance to us, no? <laughs> all right, so let's Ayan, pray. So we will pray for all, for all December birthday and anniversary celebrants. Shall we all extend our hands towards um, our brothers and sisters? Lord, we thank you for this celebration, O Lord. Thank you, Lord, for the gift of life. Thank you, Lord, for the gift of love, O Lord. And we pray, Lord, that you may continuously um, pour out, O Lord God, pour upon us, O Lord Jesus, your love, your gifts, O Lord God, your generosity, O Lord God. And may we continuously be able to come here and serve you. In Jesus' name, amen. 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 Thank you, Lord. Isa huli nga. One, two, three. Happy, Happy birthday. birthday to you. All right. So, oh, our first announcement, no. Okay, when I saw this, no, parang na-excite ako. Kasi she has a book, Pasko pa rin. All right. She will be launching this book. And uh, our our guest is uh, Miss Teresa Gumapas Dumada. It's a three-time Cardinal Sin Catholic Book Awards winner. Wow! And a Catholic Mass Media Awards Best Blog winner. Woohoo! Right. She has authored and published 10 books so far, and she has been homeschooling her children for over a decade. For over a decade. She's also a fellow feaster. Feast Alabang, let's give a warm round of applause to our guest, Sister Teresa. Good morning, Feast Alabang. Good morning. I am so blessed to be here today. Dati nung uma-attend kami, nasa Festival Mall pa ang Feast Alabang. So many years ago. And I am so happy to be here and to be sharing with you my latest book, my 10th book, titled Pasko pa rin. So, bakit ko sinulat itong libro nito? Um, kasi po napansin ko, nakapag bur months na, excited na excited tayo. Pero sometimes, there are some of us who get distracted with all the activities and the merriment that comes with the Christmas celebration. We forget, bakit ba talaga tayo nagse-celebrate ng Christmas. So I wrote Pasko pa rin to remind children or to teach children and the adults who will read the book to them that Jesus is the real reason we celebrate Christmas. Diba? Kasi minsan sa sobrang dami ng Christmas parties, sino yung mga umatenda ng Christmas party in the past week or weekend? Diba? Meron ng Christmas parties, diba? Minsan nakakalimutan natin, sino ba yung sinicelebrate talaga natin? So, through this book, I want to remind all of us, especially the children, that kahit walang mga bago, kahit walang regalo, kahit nawala ng trabaho o nagsara ng negosyo, Pasko pa rin dahil kay Kristo. So, sa gana man o hindi ang handa, may dekorasyon man o wala, Pasko pa rin dahil sa kanyang pagsilang. So, sino yung mga hindi pa tapos mag-Christmas shopping? Tapos nga ang kamay dyan. Sino yung mga katulad ko na hindi pa tapos mag-Christmas shopping? I encourage you, parents, grandparents, ninongs and ninangs, titos and titas, instead of buying toys or clothes, why not promote the gift of faith and the gift of literacy to our children? No? Kasi medyo nangungulelat ang Pilipinas. So, ito rin isa sa mga advocacy ko na maipromote yung literacy at pagmamahal sa sariling wika. Let's buy a copy of uh, Pasko pa rin. Let's be generous and share the gift of faith. Let's be the reason that other children will know why we celebrate Christmas. And let's buy copies to donate to the less fortunate. Sabi nga ni Brother Arun, we have a God of extravagance. So, i-share natin. Let's be generous to the poor. Sila yung pinakakailangang marinig ang mensahe na dala ng Pasko pa rin. So, I will be at the lobby. Uh, we have a book table where you can buy and we accept cash and GCash just in case wala kayong dalang cash uh, uh, ngayon. But, we will be here and we will... Uh, I will sign the copies for you. So, thank you and advance Merry Christmas, brothers and sisters. Thank you, Sister Reza. Actually, you know what? During the, our session with Brother Arun, she did the storytelling for our awesome kids. And she will also do that 
in um, in our second session. All right. So, trusting in God's abundance. Nito po. We would like to thank all those people who shared their time. You know, and I want you to watch this video as how our volunteers share their time. They did not only share their time, but even talent and treasure. So again, Fees Alabang's ongoing feeding program will run not until this year, but until May 11, 2024. So we invite you to be part of this mission through TBO. Can you say it? TBO. All right. The first T is teach. Can we say teach? Yeah. So teach. We need qualified volunteers to teach on lactation, nutrition, catechism, values formation, financial literacy, and give skills training. Kino may katabi mo. Pwede bang magteach yan? Pwede. Kung hindi siya pwede, baka pwede siyang magbi. Bring. You can bring multivitamins and supplements, rice, vegetables, eggs, other food items to augment the feeding and extend the good nutrition alone also to our families. Now, kung hindi siya pwede ng T, B, ano susunod? Oh! Offer. Uy, God is abundant, right? Maybe you can offer employment, livelihood, opportunities, urban gardening, simple water purifiers for clean drinking water. So, we'd love to hear from you on how you can be part, you can partner with us. So, until May 11, 2024 pa yan. Alright, so please, can you please chat, uh, chat with us? And then we have the table outside for volunteers. Huwag ka may katabi mo, sabihin mo, huy, volunteer na tayo. Yeah. <laughs> All right. And, wow, for our second and for third announcement, we are happy to announce the success of the Hero Independent Parents or HIP Ministries Outreach to the Bureau of Corrections last November 27, 2023. To the unwavering support of generous sponsors, volunteers, families, and friends, they were able to provide, wow, 1,254 senior and PW persons deprived of liberty with a hearty meal, essential groceries, and a Bible. Oh, Can we all say, oh? <laughs> but this one is a touch. And also, there was a mass no, offered by, well, led by Father Chris Salonga. They offered um, spiritual solace and uplifting the spirits of all in attendance. So, the HIP family extends their heartfelt thanks to all who participated in this meaningful journey. Can we all say, to God be the glory? Yes. And, as always, we have a regular healing session. If you have any concerns that you want and you, can, um, you want to be prayed over, so at the back, no, we have our healing ministries who will be there to heal all of you. All right? And, ayan. So, marami po tayo. We believe that our God is abundant and you are abundant. Amen? Yes. All right. Brother Arun Gogna. Thank you, buddy. Thank you. Yung aking mga paper na binili ng nanay kung napakadami, naubos din. Kakabigay. So, dumating din ako ulit sa tinatago ko na naman. Ayoko na naman magbigay. But I noticed my friend, my classmate, his name is Flexer. Si Flexer. Talagang bigay lang siya ng bigay. Pero habang nagbibigay siya, parang tinitingnan ko si Flexer, yung mukha niya, nakasmile. Sabi ko, ba't magkaiba kami nito? 
siya nakangiti habang nagbibigay. Tapos, ako, pag nagbibigay na kasi mangot. Tapos one time, I asked Flex, sir, sabi ko, marami ka bang paper? Hindi, konti nga lang eh, sabi niya. Ah, eh bakit ka nakasmile habang nagbibigay? Itong sagot niya, eh ko, kasi habang nagbibigay ako, parang ang saya ko. Tapos meron pa siyang sinabi, kasi bukas, meron ako ulit bagong paper. Bakit? Kasi ang belief niya ganito, kung saan to galing, marami pa to. Saan galing? Sa kanya? Hindi. Sa tatay niya. Ewan ko kung sa kinuko ng tatay niya, baka sa opisina. Ganun, no? <laughs> <laughs> Hindi ko na alam yan. No? <laughs> Pero, yung saya na pag nagbibigay siya, tapos pag nabigyan na niya lahat ng mga nangingi sa kanya, okay naman siya. Tapos pag humingi ulit, meron na naman siya. Di siya nauubusan. Kasi ang dami pang pinanggagalingan nito. Itong lalagay niyo rito, binibigay niyo online, this is what I want you to believe in. As you put this on the love offering basket, as you press that click button of giving online, I want you to believe in this statement that there is more where this came from. There is more where this came from. Marami pa. Kanino ba ito galing? Sa kanya. Marami pa. Tayo ay daluyan lamang ng pagpapala. Pero habang dumadaloy sa atin, meron tayo. God is a generous God. May you experience His generosity this week. Let's all stand. Let's give to the Lord. Lift up your tithe, your offering to Jesus. Bow down your head. Let me pray for you. Lord, your word is so true. I pray for my brothers and sisters that they will experience true joy as they give. May they believe that there is more where this is coming from, from you. So supply all their needs, O oh God, according to your generosity, according to your radical generosity. This is our prayer. We claim in your name, in Jesus' name, amen. Come, brothers and sisters, give to God with joy.